It's Kyle Wyman, the 33, on the Harley Davidson out front. When you see a bagger, you think someone cruising down the highway, feet up, laid back, taking it easy. And then you translate it over to this and you see, oh my gosh, this is not taking it easy. Oh my goodness. Now, just pushing those things past the absolute limit. That's just not normal, but it's awesome to see. And it's amazing the fact that, yeah, these bikes can do it if you set them up right and you, and you really get the right rider. Right. So there's a lot of performance focus on putting out a number for bragging rights on a dyno. And that's one type of power and it's really admirable what some people are able to do. But if you can't get on that bike and you can't ride it and that power is not applied through the motorcycle to the road in a controlled manner, then it's just a number. And where Screaming Eagle has really focused is on developing a full portfolio of performance products and in particular suspension products to be able to control the motorcycle to maximize the power that is available. Setup is huge and just allowing the rider to get comfortable. If you're not comfortable on the bike, there's no way you're gonna be able to go fast. So suspension is, is huge and I think even more so on these bikes. The thing about testing is that you have to be at the limit, otherwise the feedback you give is not, is not relevant. So we need to go out here and, and figure out where the ceiling is. Kyle Lyme is starting to spin up the rear of that Dunlop. Being out here pushing that boundary, pushing the speed, keeping the engine RPMs up higher than we've ever seen, informs us about our next version of the Screaming Eagle product that we're gonna be out there selling to the consumer. And the really great thing about this product and the collaboration between Olin's and Harley-Davidson is that we could ensure that this product is set up correctly for the motorcycle of its intended fitment. Road racing is a, a world of millimeters. You know, a five millimeter change in, in steering offset can change things dramatically. And those things are critical when you're trying to just live on that that fine edge of, of grip and what the tires are capable of. Kyle Wyman takes victory here. I mean, we're pushing 160 miles an hour and 55 degrees a lead angle on a 635 pound bike, trying to slow them into a 90 degree corner. Like it's, it's phenomenal what the bikes are capable of and what the riders are capable of doing on them.